So when you're buying Supreme, you're buying the lifestyle. By the way, explain that to me. Because at a certain point, I kept hearing lifestyle, and I thought, I, I was always baffled. What does that mean? I, I kind of get the gist. So with today, lifestyle. The, remember I was kind of going on my rant about, well, you can get anything you want now, right? right? Like, it's a beautiful time for the consumer. The residue of that, for lack of a better term, is if you're a consumer, how do you choose how do you discern what's going to be right for you in a, like when on your Instagram, you're getting hit over the head with a brand Avalanche after brand of after brand. Like how do you choose? You right. know what I mean? And so in a time now, I'm a very product guy for better or for worse. I'm, it's not a brag. It's just who I, I like product. I like, there's a very specific thing I'm looking for. There's a fit, there's a drape. I'm always looking for something very specific and it's product driven. Right. I'm not so into brand. Right. There's not, that's not to say I'm better or worse. It's just how I am, right. right? And so I'm usually looking for a very specific thing. And when I find it, if it's cheap, if it's expensive, if it's whatever it is, I like that. And I'm going to try and make, make, make it part of my, uh, my, how I dress. But not everybody's into fashion like that, but they still got to put clothes on every day. And it's hard when you're getting hit over the head. And so, oh. what, and so what streetwear has at least theoretically brought in is this way of kind of being able to do that at any price point, you know, and and look at what's largely been younger, cheaper, not respected ways of fashion, right. but treat it like LV does. Is is that why you have like a Pharrell who's now the head of LV? So and, and so and so, yeah, and so what happens is in this day and age when. You know, like real talk, and I'm, and I'm being silly for no, a please. second. Yeah. That's a two thousand dollars suit. Right. I could go get it for eighty at Zara. I know. No, no, I'm just saying. Okay, but like, ahead, you know, but I couldn't. But yeah, you yeah. know, I'm just being right, silly right, right, for right, a second, right. right? Like now, I could get that suit across any particular brand, and all you know, and whatever at any particular price point. And so people aren't because product has become so saturated. People are now buying into the, the, the lifestyle, the narrative. They're buying into what that brand means. When you say you wear a Dries, when I say I wear this Japanese brand, it's already telling you something about who I am Absolutely. and what my sensibilities are. And I'm buying into, I'm buying into, but also selling a lifestyle mm -hmm. in how oh, I dress. Okay, okay, okay. Right? Enough, right. And Got so it. if Got you it. wear... Like, you know, kids uh -huh. that are like, does, did, you know, rest in peace, but, you know, kids that wear off white, are they, is that the best jean, pant, sweater no, 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 no. on earth? You know, whatever. No, nah, they're buying it because, like, they are into Virgil's lifestyle and maybe his point of view. They identify with, right? with his philosophy. Right. Right, right. And so nowadays, when you're buying, most people, or some people, I shouldn't say most, when they're buying into brands, they're buying, they're not buying the product anymore. I can go get the same five pocket denim from Levi's, from J. Crew, from Supreme, from Union, from Off White, from Dries, like the same jean from Margella. Of course. Right? Yeah. So what's gonna make me take that extra mile to spend the dollar on that one? Well, that brand represents my philosophy, the lifestyle. Wow. You're buying into the lifestyle that you identify with. It sounds crazy. No, but it then, doesn't. That fucking actually you know, dialed everything in for me. Yeah. And, and, so, I, and I think about that a lot, too, because I actually wear a lot. I wear a lot of Margiela. Yeah. Although it's whatever. But because for me, it, it and I, by the way, at this point, I'm like a Margiela mascot. It's embarrassing. <laughs> walking around full Margiela, I feel like a, I feel like an idiot, you know, walking around. But for me, it's I don't want brands on me. Yeah, I like this kind of. There's a bit. There's there's a mystery. There's a, mm -hmm. there's a surrealism. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That I've bought into, and that I see reflected in some of their designs. So that's very interesting. I mean, I sure. I think not to. This is probably not to derail our whole. Thing, no, please, but, dude. Like, go. I realized as much as we're like, oh wow, and, and at some point I was like, oh wow, this is like. This is age old. This is like, think about like, I started thinking about it when I started thinking, when I got to the age 
where I could like literally choose the car I wanted to buy. Right. Right. And so for the longest, I was like, you know, at some point I was like, I still do have own an Audi, but at some point I was like, oh, I'm an Audi guy. Right. Why am I an Audi guy? Well, because I don't want to be a BMW guy, because look at the BMW guy, right? And I don't want to be a BMW guy. Like, he, he's BMW guy is kind of try hard. In my try mind, in my okay. own mind. No, no, this please. is yeah, all yeah, no, here. Oh, it doesn't yes, make any course. sense. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So, I'm not, BMW guy is a try hard guy, right? Mercedes guy is like, they're refined. He's checked out. Is he checked no, Mercedes out? Mercedes guy, guy is the luxury. Yeah. It's the quintessential, and I'm not a luxury guy, right? right, right, right? right. But I, wanna, I don't want to drive a Honda. You know what I mean? Why? Because it's Honda's all bullshit. <laughs> it's right. all yo for driving in LA. I'm gonna get on the freeway. I'm gonna traffic. drive like and outside of a couple. You know, at the end of the day, they all have Bluetooth. They all have radio. They have right. four wheels. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna get a P Porsche. Like who am I racing? Someone here? And like I'm not trying to mute the fact that each car might. You know, obviously a Porsche is better than a Honda. You know what I mean? But then here's what really put it over the edge, right? So I was like, oh, fuck, these car guys got me. They're in my head. Yeah. They're in my head. Yeah. They got me thinking I'm an Audi guy. <laughs> yeah. What the, for what? Well, for I these constructs of the BMW, the, you know, for me, like, because I've owned a BMW, it's a far superior driving machine than an right. Audi. Tight German. But I've decided yeah. I'm not the Audi, the BMW guy for this construct that's not even real. Take the Prius. The, when I, this is when I really noticed it. The Prius is a is a Geo Metro that's that's electric. Right. It's a piece of shit car outside of the fact that it's a hybrid. But but the projection but the actual, is is intelligence. But, right. right? Was that, that's all, what it was. Right? Yeah, yeah. I remember it's as a kid. It's all marketing. It, and it started way before we, mm. you know, people, I'm sure people smarter than me sitting at this table could talk about how, like, you know, we eat bacon in the morning because some marketing person decided bacon and orange juice was was breakfast food. Right. And, and, and that there was a thing called breakfast that we needed. It's all marketing. And fashion is just another kind of arm of that. That's so interesting. Yeah, I'm caught up in the same. I'm caught up in the same kind of psycho babble. I drive a Tesla, and for me, I'm I'm <laughs> I want to align myself with what I what I deem to be the most progressive brand that is for the planet mm -hmm. and is uh, this is hyper intelligence uh, beyond the status quo that in a, in my way in my opinion is kind of. Um, Holding the holding the entire humanity behind our status mm. quo, the mm. politicians, all the old ideas, all the slow moving people, um, people who are stuck in their ways. Uh, my car drives itself. I have the full self driving <laughs> thing, yeah. and I'm like, I'm in my car. I'm I'm a, I'm a member of this intelligence elite. <laughs> that my car is driving itself. These other people are in these. Dead, <laughs> these other people are in these dead cars. You're crazy. And I just you're don't a crazy understand. person. I don't know.